Tensions in North Korea continue to escalate, plus new developments in the legal saga over the DACA program. Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker, and here's your daily rundown. We begin with breaking news overnight. At least 37 people are dead after a gun and knife attack at a child care center in Thailand. At least 24 of those killed were children. The assailant, a former police officer, continued shooting from his car after leaving the center. He drove home, killed his wife and child, and then himself. This is the deadliest rampage in Thailand's history. Missiles are flying on the Korean Peninsula for the third straight day. North Korea fired two more ballistic missiles today and flew 12 warplanes near the border with South Korea. The South sent 30 warplanes flying in response. Today's activity coming two days after North Korea fired an intermediate range missile over Japan. A federal appeals court ordered a U.S. district to look at changes made by the Biden administration to the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, program. Last year, the judge ruled the program was illegal. The appeals court agreed with the ruling that it is unlawful, but the 600,000 estimated migrants protected under DACA will remain, while new applicants will not be allowed.